Simon and Schuster Audio presents The Only Plane in the Sky An Oral History of 9-11 By Garrett M. Graff Read by a full cast With the introduction and acknowledgments read by the author Narrated by Holter Graham To my daughter, Eliza, and to all the children affected by 9-11, I hope this book helps you understand the world in which you live. Author's Note Nearly every American above a certain age remembers precisely where they were on September 11, 2001. What began as an ordinary day became the deadliest terrorist attack in world history and the deadliest attack on the United States since Pearl Harbor. Shocking and terrifying the global community, exposing us to unimaginable tragedy and evil, while also reminding us of the strength, bravery, and power of the human spirit. Heroes quite literally emerged from the ashes, and the hours and decisions that followed defined not just a generation, but our modern era. All told, 2,606 people died at the World Trade Center in New York City and another 125 at the Pentagon. 206 people died when their planes, American Airlines Flight 77, United Airlines Flight 175, American Airlines Flight 11, flight numbers now permanently retired and part of history, were hijacked and crashed into the centers of America's financial and military power. Another 40 died in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, as brave passengers and crew wrestled control of United Airlines Flight 93, backed from the hijackers. The 9-11 Memorial and Museum in New York City honors a precise tally of 2,983 casualties including six killed in 1993 when the World Trade Center was attacked for the first time by the forerunners of the terror group that would ultimately bring those buildings down in just 102 minutes, eight years later. The 9-11 victims represented not merely Americans, but citizens of more than 90 nations. The toll obviously stretched beyond the dead alone. More than 3,000 children lost a parent on 9-11 including some 100 sample complete ready to continue